hi guys welcome to mix coding lecture in this we'll cover all the coding decoding thing related to mix coding so what is mix coding generally is certain few groups of numbers or words or alphabets are coded using similarly certain things right like numbers or maybe words or again maybe alphabets and then you have to find the meaning or code for certain number meaning or alphabets depending on them you will have a mixed coding and then you have to deduct and find the answer generally these exams like IBPS SBI and various other banking exam they definitely give you mixed coding questions they're very easy you get in a set of five and then you can solve it easily and get those five marks in reasoning section they are asked in reasoning obviously so now let's begin and uh, we will discuss some questions so you can get a hold of how to do it better and faster what is the good method how can you not make any mistake and maintain a hundred percent accuracy where where all of them all other candidates will also have it's a, wide, a very high area where you know if you relate to people or candidates solving these maximum number of people get it right so this is a bonus point for them so the only challenge for you will be to solve it quickly and correctly efficiently because you cannot afford to lose marks in this one because they are very easy so let's discuss some easy question with this one a basic one and then we'll discuss few caselets in our next video so let me add a kind of example now as you can see in this question it's saying in a certain code 786 means study very hard 958 means hard work pays 645 means study and work which of the following is the code for very so this is basically mixed coding right you have to find the answer for this one this is just a basic example so this thing will be on your screen how to do it faster maybe you can like if it's already in number you can just write s v h because uh, there is no reference just be careful that s is not repeating otherwise add an x digit to make quickly a reference 958 h w p 645 s a w right so only thing you have to be careful is do not mix the number make it as short as it is because this will be on your screen it's an online exam mainly um, whatever banking as we are focusing here so be careful so now what quickly you will do once you have this on your screen ready just compare which two or one are repeating or whatever two of them you compare like this and then you can find the logic so I'll begin with the last two you can do your way just I'm explaining you how to do this so S and W or just see W is there once W is there once right there is no other W in or someone overlapping here right if there was there's only one thing common here that is W right so what is common here is 5 so quickly write down W equals to 5 I'm just going slow because it doesn't should not mix in you now see these two right these two first and third svh and sa so what is common s right so we can take s just flip it and um, just see what is common here that is 6 s equals to 6 and quickly see if there is anything more s or w here because if you find one answer you should always cross the other like round it off because it doesn't make uh, a confusion for you obviously when you have done these two just see this a which you have already obtained as 4 so a equals to 4 right and there is v h and what is the next common h right h so what is the common from top to 8 and 8 so h equals to 8 and now these two you can leave because v equals to 7 and uh, p equals to 9 that you don't need all these things you have to do very quickly and efficiently 
here some you don't need to write study very hard hard works plays study and work all you need to do is do quickly and this is very efficiently uh, efficient because it doesn't make you um, fiddle up with a lot of confusion you can do it orally sometimes because but generally in exam there is there are little complicated so it's better to smartly work on how to minimize your writing right so uh, that is there and once you can uh, write it what is the very ka answer v is 7 right so answer is 7 so this is just a basic question in the next one we will discuss few real mock or exam caselets how re really it is and how we should solve them right so uh, i hope if you have any doubt using this video please post in the comment section uh, using youtube or in the same post if you're watching from our website um, use it you will get reply within 24 hours or maybe earlier and then please follow us uh, on facebook twitter or youtube you can subscribe if you like this video thank you so much